I was trying to think how high my sacrifice would have to be in terms of the goodies, the sunsets, the looking over the Grand Canyon moments. Which ones of those, how many of those would I sacrifice to uh, prevent one child from having cancer? Just one, okay, named Bonnie. Let's say seven years old, and uh, I can prevent cancer from manifesting in her body. Yeah, go ahead, take the Grand Canyon, take the Tetons, take Yellowstone National Park. Just start stripping, you know, go right down the list. All the things I've seen that have been at all inspiring. Take them, take them. Yes, take all the desserts I've ever had and give me the bread. Give me the nothing, the mundane, the, the benign, uh, uninspiring and take all that inspires me. Take everything, every glimmer, every, every wink at beauty. You may have it. I will lose it remorsefully, but I will sacrifice it gleefully to prevent that suffering. So yes, obviously I would, my life has very little value, you know, because I can't even, I can't calculate the best and best of it. I certainly would sacrifice to prevent somebody else from having to endure the worst of it. It's just that simple. I can't, I can't say it to you any more honestly than that. That's honestly what I think of the value reality. Uh, and this isn't even a kid that's my own. This isn't my own sister, or my mother, or my father. This isn't somebody I even care about, personally, beyond the fact that it has a nice name. You know, I've made it cute. But beyond that, there's nothing. So what? What if I made it just a, a wolf in a trap? It's in a trap for two days, the leg's gone numb, it's now gonna gnaw it off, and then go through the pain and suffering as the feeling comes back and bleed to death and die. I can prevent it. What do I give up for that? Take it all. Take it all. <laughs> yes, you, you may have it all. Eradicate it all from experiential reality. Every beautiful moment I've experienced because it means nothing balanced against the ugly. It's just more powerful. The bad apples are more poisonous than the good apples are pure. It's just a sad, tragic truth. Yes, you can believe differently, but you have to make an argument to me somehow. Say these words to me. Tell me that you've had some joy so precious that you would hold on to it even if you could spare somebody four years of chemotherapy. And I'll understand who you are. I won't understand you in a good way, but I'll understand. But don't tell me I'm wrong to think that it would be worth sacrificing all the Greek gaudy beauty moments to prevent those Poeskian horrors from being experienced.